Hey guys, Mr. P. In this video, we're going to talk about how to draw alpha and beta glucose in order to earn full marks on our IB exam. So glucose has a chemical composition of C6H12O6. So these structures are gonna have six carbons, 12 hydrogens, and six oxygens. Both of them have exactly the same shape, but they're going to have slightly different uh, geometries in order to help us distinguish between the two. So the first of two is our alpha glucose, which is going to look very, very similar to our beta glucose because, uh, like I said, they both have the exact same chemical composition. Now, the first thing we want to do when we're drawing alpha and beta glucose is we want to give our glucose molecules the general hexagon shape that all glucose molecules consist of. So I'll go ahead, I'll give both of our glucose molecules the exact same start because at this point, both molecules are identical. In the fifth or off of the fifth prime carbon, or the fifth carbon of this particular glucose molecule is going to be a side chain, which is CH2OH, CH2OH. Now, that gives us six carbons. We need to now add the additional hydrogens and oxygens, and this is where both of them get slightly different because again, at this point, both of them are identical. So we're gonna go off of the first carbon. Now, if we go clockwise from our oxygen, this becomes our first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth carbon. Gives us the chemical composition C6H12O6. In alpha glucose, this first carbon is going to have the hydrogen on top and the hydroxide on the bottom. Second carbon is going to have hydrogen on top. It's going to have hydroxide on the bottom. Third carbon is going to have the hydroxide on top, the hydrogen on the bottom. The fourth carbon is going to have the hydrogen on top and the hydroxide on the bottom. And this central carbon, uh, or the fifth carbon, is going to have hydrogen on the bottom with a CH2OH group on top. Now, if we go over to beta glucose, you'll notice that, again, this is identical to the way we started our alpha glucose, but this first carbon is going to have the hydroxide and the hydrogen switched, and everything else is going to be identical. So we have a hydrogen on top, OH on bottom, OH on top, H on bottom, H on top, OH on bottom, and our hydrogen on the bottom. When you look at these two structures, which are two isomers of glucose, they're both going to have the same exact chemical composition. The only thing that is different is the orientation of the hydrogen and hydroxide on this first carbon. Hydroxide on the top on beta glucose, hydroxide on the bottom on alpha glucose. One other way you can remember is if you look at the first and fourth carbon, Alpha glucose has the hydroxide on the same side of our alpha glucose. And if you look at the fourth and first carbon on our beta glucose, you'll see that the hydroxide and hydrogens are switched again on our beta glucose. If you learned something in this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments or questions in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. See ya.